Welcome to the easiest beginner walkthrough video for how to buy call options here on Interactive Brokers. First thing you need to know is that when you're buying call options, it's a bet in the market. Your hypothesis has to be that the stock price is going to go up. And remember, since stock options are a derivative or a kind of secondary trading mechanism based on the underlying stock, you need that underlying stock to go up in value for your options chain when you're buying calls to work out profitably. So what this means is that you need the stock to go from here like you're shown on the screen upwards to here. If it does that and it's going up and it's bullish, you're in a good spot when you're buying call options. The first step is identifying the stock or the underlying you want to trade on or buy your calls on. Let's say we want to go with Meta. Confirm it through technical analysis, looking at the chart, how did the chart look, and confirm it with a fundamental analysis, what is happening with this stock in the market. If you think it's going to be bullish and it's going to go up, then you proceed to step two, which is actually selecting the options chain over here on the left-hand side and selecting your strike price and your expiration date for your call option. Now, there are lots of different ways to do this, and it's coming again down to your strategy, but to just show you how to do it, the mechanics of it, let's say we wanted to buy a call option that's going to expire this Friday. So we would be expecting, in this case, Meta's stock to move significantly this week, and if it does, we'll make some money. So the expiration date will be July 7th. We go down to the strike price now and always operate on the call side of our options chain, not the put side. We want to be on call side when we're buying calls, when we're bullish. Puts when you're buying them or for when you're bearish, we're going to be over here on the call side buying calls. Now, the bid and ask spread here for all these different strike prices, it changes as you go up. So the higher the strike price goes, the cheaper that these bid and ask or what you have to pay to buy these call options is going to be. Let's say we wanted to pick 290 as our strike price and we're not going to give it a reason right now. We're just going to say 290 to show you the example of how to do this. 262 is the bid. 271 is the ask. You can look to get it filled in between these two, but assume your worst case scenario as the options buyer, the call buyer, is you're gonna have to pay $2.71 per share. Every options contract is 100 shares here. So $271 to buy one options contract, one call contract for Meta. If we click on here and click in the blue, it's going to populate this order entry up here. We wanna make sure that we click on buy. Blue is to buy. Red is to sell. We're going to be buying to open up this trade. So we want to buy to open. And then we would go then and look at the quantity of one. Again, one contract equals 100 shares. We could then change our order type from limit to market to stop to trail limit to anything else. If you want to see what those all mean and how they work, make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out some of the other videos I have on those specific types of orders. For today's order, we're just going to go with a limit order and it's going to pick the mid price there between 271 and 262. So let's call that, that's a $9 spread. My mental math says that's a 266 final amount, 266 right there. And then you go day or good till canceled. Day means it's going to be good for this trading day. Good till canceled means it's going to be good until you cancel this trade until it gets filled. So you're gonna get filled and you're gonna buy that call option or it's gonna get canceled when you decide to cancel it in case it doesn't ever get filled. So it's up to that. Let's go with day right now to keep it in play for this trading day. Then very importantly, before you go and click this big submit button, which I know you wanna do, you wanna click on this advanced tab and open up your profitability, margin performance area and understand what you're actually getting yourself into. Now, once you've opened up this order preview, if you don't see a performance box right now, you wanna check on performance profile and make sure that's clicked on. It's going to populate a new little screen for you, which is a very valuable tool showing you the profit probability of the trade, but more importantly, showing you the max return and max loss for your trade. And this max loss, because you're buying a call option, is just going to be the premium that you're going to have to pay. It is 271, right? 2.71 times 100 shares equals $271 right here. That's your max loss. So all you can potentially lose in this trade, if it goes to zero, is $271. And the max return is tied to the stock price performance. If the stock price continues to go up and up and up and up and up, it can go to unlimited kind of heights. Meta's stock price could go to 2000 and you would just keep making money if the price kept going up. So the max return here is infinite, okay? It can go on forever. Probability percentage is a 28% chance of profit in this trade, but the risk is low potentially because we're only paying 271. So it's a little bit risk reward right there. And down here are the instruments here. You can see what's going to happen to your profit and loss based on where the stock price goes. 
plus 10%, 20%, minus 20, minus 30. It's going to show you what the underlying, which means the stock price of Meta is going to do and how the corresponding profit and loss position is going to react. So check those numbers out and then understand here that if you're seeing this, what you should be seeing is that your account is going down in value equity with loan should be going down because you're buying. And it's just showing me this 354 number because it's converting it from 271 to Canadian funds in my account. It's just adding in some exchange, but that's what show you 271 negative if you're in the United States and your account's going to be less than it was before making this trade because again, you're buying, you're paying cash to purchase this call option. And then you, your account's going to go down in value a little bit, but hopefully when your call option goes up in value, you're going to even that out and make some profit when the stock price of Meta goes up. So if this all looks good, you can close this little window off here, pull this back to the center of your screen, and then you can go ahead and you click transmit to actually submit that order. Again, if you don't want to do this right from there, you can just click submit right here and you can go through and submit that order. Once it gets filled, it becomes an actual active trade, but for now it is in there. And that is how you go ahead and buy to open a call option in interactive brokers. If you're planning on buying call options, please like this video. Let me know in the comments which stock you're going to buy call options on. I'd love to know what you're trading in your day-to-day -day portfolio. And if you want to know the theory and kind of the numbers behind how a call option works once it's actually live and on and the math behind it, a deep dive, make sure you check out this next video right here.